everybody what is going on here we are going to start a new series today it is going to be a franchise in mlb the show 17 all right so for this franchise we're gonna go ahead and take the hardest team imaginable uh we are going to be doing probably a lot of trade i'm gonna put it on experience just to see how it goes um Nah, I don't want GM contracts. That's the only thing I don't want. Yeah, we're going to go manual on everything, obviously. We're going to start in the regular season. It's just a little easier for me. Just starting out here. I'm not very experienced in this game, and I'm trying it on experienced. Um, we're going to try and make some deals. Um, obviously, the Padres are not very good. They're not going to be very good. So I do want to make deals, obviously. So I'm going to start trying to make some, and I'll let you know uh, what we did make. All right, so the first deal we're going to make here is pitcher Matt McGill, a 27-year-old C-54. A pitcher here, Brian Rodriguez, 26-year-old D-51. And Corey... Spangenberg, Spangenberg. He is a second baseman. He's our backup second baseman. He's 26 years old. He's 73 overall, but he's his only a C. We're going to grab Connor Green here. He's 21 years old. B potential, 66 overall. They're interested. It's going to save us some money off of our budget, and it's going to give us a prospect starting pitcher that we'll be able to use in the future. All right, I might take some backlash for this deal, but we're going to end up doing this deal anyways. It is Ryan Buchter, a 30-year-old, 83 overall reliever. One of, uh, actually, our second best player currently at the moment. Uh, starting pitcher, Julius Chachin, who's technically our second starter right now, but he's a D potential, 73, 74 overall. And then a 73 overall, who's technically our fourth starter at the moment, uh, 26 years old. We're going to go ahead and get rid of those three guys and pick up Tristan McKenzie off of the Indians. He is a A prospect, 19 years old. And we're going to need a player like that. Actually, out of curiosity, can I get rid of him and do Aiken? No, we can't do Aiken, but we can do Tristan McKenzie. So we're going to do that. We're going to save some money and do it right now. All right, so we're going to end up getting Daniel Norris over here from the Tigers. He is 23 years old, a 74 overall B potential player. Uh, I do want to pick him up for Jared Weaver, who is 33 years old, aging at a 75 overall, as well as Dusty Coleman, who is a 30-year-old B potential 62 third baseman. And we're also going to go ahead and throw in another B potential. He's 27 years old. 65 overall we can get him for that so that's going to work for me 550,000 we're bringing in we are letting go of four million dollars so let's do it all right the next trade i'm going to go ahead and do here uh is giving up three 30 year olds none of them very very good here for a guy just under 30 a 74 overall relieving pitcher zach McAllister. Um, I think it's worth it. We're dumping a little salary here and getting somebody of more quality over uh, guys we really don't need at 30 years old. All right, next deal we're going to go ahead and make. We're going to pick up a couple B relievers here. 26-year-old uh, Yimi Garcia and 25-year-old Yaziel Sierra off of the Dodgers. They're both B potential, one of 75, one of 72. All we got to give up is a 70 starter in Colin Ray, who doesn't look like he's going to do too much for us. Relieving pitcher Jared Cozart, who's not really very good at all. And second baseman Louis Urias, a 19-year-old, 60. Granted AC potential, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we are picking up salary here with Yaziel Sierra, but I believe it is worth it. We'll have a good pen. All right, for our final trade of the right before the season here, our end of spring training, spring cleaning, we're going to go ahead and pick up Brandon Moss. He's a little bit more expensive than I'd want him to be, but we are literally giving up three guys that are in single A and that will never play on this team. 
uh, in order to get him, and I need another guy for our major league squad, and he will do very, very well as a situational player. There you can see in our organizational depth chart that we really only have uh, 32 people on the 40 man. I want to leave those spots open until it gets closer to the time where we have to make the 40 man just because I don't really know. I don't really know what we want to do yet um, as far as who's going to be worthy of coming up. But as of now, this is what we're looking at. Starting pitchers, Daniel Norris, Shohei Otani. Christian Friedrich, Trevor Cahill, and Shintaro Fujinami. Couple rookies in there. We're hoping they can develop. We'll see what happens. Zach Lee, Louis Perdomo, Connor Green, and Espinoza for the uh, AAA, as well as Tristan McKenzie, who we brought in. So a couple A's who could be coming along the ranks rather soon than later we would hope. Jacob, Nix, Quantrill, Lauer, Jenkins, Allen, and Morejon are going to be the double A. And then we still got these two guys who are very, very expendable. Moving on to the relief pitchers, we do have a pretty good pen. We're going to need it because we don't have the best starters. So we have Carter Caps, we have Yimi Garcia, we have Kevin Quackenbush, we have Brad Hand, we have Zach McAllister, and we have Yaziel Sierra. So I'm hoping all these guys can have a hand in the bullpen. Jesse Beal, Miguel Diaz, Logan Baucom, and Betancourt, as well as Lockett and Week, are going to be in the AAA. And then we have some double A's here. Uh, Brisobin, Hessler, Renzo, Ruiz, Smith, and Barnett. Uh, Yardley, Torres, Bauman, Fisher. These guys are all god-awful. Wish I could find a way to dump them off, but I really can't. We only have one closer in the organization. It's Brandon Moore at the moment. Uh, he's pretty good. We have Austin Hedges in our major leagues. We're hoping he continues to develop. Hector Sanchez will be the backup. Uh, we don't really have any catching prospects. Kind of concerning, but we'll get there in the future. First baseman, obviously, Will Myers, the best player in the franchise at the moment. Uh, Brandon Moss, who we just brought in to be the backup. We got Jamie Romach and Triple A. I may actually switch these two guys, but I want to see how Josh Naylor does first in Double A. Then we have Yangervis Salarte, who I don't love, but hopefully... Tetsuto Yamada can come up and uh, help us out here. He's going to be up here as a 72 overall. It is his time to shine. And if Aswahe can uh, get himself into the 70s, we could see him next year as well. Here at third base, obviously, we're going to keep Ryan Shimp for now. Uh, hope he gets a little bit better. Hope he has a good season. We don't really have anyone behind him. It's a little concerning. Short stops, we have Eric Ibar. I don't love him. I don't love Luis Sardinas, but hopefully he can prove me wrong. Maybe Jose Rondon can come along. Or Ricardo De La Torre, uh, an 18-year-old, 62B. Or maybe Fernando Tatis Jr. can do something for us, but we'll see what happens. Left field, we are going to have Alex Dickerson and Travis Jankowski uh, battling out for that spot, of course. Uh, as we don't really have much behind that. For center field, we have Manuel Margot, and it is his time to shine. He's still a prospect in the major leagues, which is weird. Um, he's in the majors. He should probably have a rookie sign, but whatever. Um, it's going to be his time now as a 70 overall. We don't have too much behind him. Hunter Renfro, obviously, he's somehow still a prospect in the majors as well. It's going to be his time to shine, of course. So there you go. There you have our team. It's not looking too good. All right, guys. So showing you guys the lineup. Uh, basically, uh, we play pretty much without a DH. So we'll go here. Uh, without a DH, we are going to have Travis Jankowski lead off for us um, with his 87 speed, 62 contact. Hoping he can get the job done and maybe develop a little bit. Ibar would be the two-hole hitter. Uh, you can see his stats there. Very good contact against the righties. Will Myers is our power hitter on the squad, so we're going to obviously have him in the third hole. Uh, Schimpf will bat cleanup as he has a lot of power against the righties. 
Solarte with some contact to start it up again in the five hole. Renfro, uh, 57-54, not so great, but uh, he's a balanced player, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a reward there. Margot with the 88 speed, hopefully to start it back up again. And then Austin Hedges is clearly the worst hitter here, but his superior defense is going to give him a start against righties with the 30-42 rather than the 28-41. Um, and then we'll have Hector Sanchez as you can see, starting against the lefties. So Hector Sanchez will be against the lefties. He'll be near the bottom of the lineup, obviously. Margot is going to lead us off with his 88 speed against the lefties. Only 58 contact, but we're not too great against lefties anyway. You can see here we're going to have Ibar with his 62 speed, 61 contact. And then uh, there's Hunter Renfro with his 61 contact, 62 power. And then Will Myers with his 60 contact, 79 power. We got Salarte with 70 contact in the five hole. Yamada 53-50 in the six hole. Dickerson uh, playing here 52-47 in the seven hole. And then there's Hector Sanchez with his 50-44, hoping that uh, maybe some of these guys will develop. We got two top 50 prospects there. We got a couple rookies in here. And Will Myers is the only bona fide star in our lineup. Let me go ahead and set the rotation and show you guys that. All right, so this is how I have the rotation set up right now. Uh, Shohei Otani uh, as a righty is going to go ahead. He has the most stamina. Then we're going to go with Daniel Norris um, as a lefty at 74 overall. We're going to split it up that way. Righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty uh, with Shintaro Fujinami and Christian Friedrich. And Trevor Cahill, pretty much the starter I like the least. I want him to get the least starts, so we'll, we're going to put him fifth in the rotation. Yaziel Sierra will be our long reliever with the 72 stamina that he has. He does very well in this role, I think. I think we will uh, do very well with him. Kevin Quackenbush, Zach McAllister, and Brad Hand in the middle relief. We got one lefty in the pen, which is uh, troublesome sometimes. Uh, we'll have Carter Caps and Yimi Garcia put in there as two setup guys with Brandon Marr to close. So that is how we're going to be set up for season number one. And episode two will pretty much be the sim of season number one and see uh, what goes on. I might jump into one or two games, but that'll be that. And I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please go ahead and drop a like. Are you guys excited for some Padres baseball, it is a very challenging rebuild. We will see what can happen in this series. Can we ever make a postseason in this in this uh, in this save? Let's see what happens, guys. Uh, I thank you guys very much for watching this video. Go ahead, drop a like on the video, comment. What do you think of the series? Subscribe if you are new. Plenty more of this coming out. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. We'll